I wanted to do a quick analysis on this analysis report on this uh, element and put in some thoughts. So one of you guys mentioned about the the duty cycle of this stove element being pushed maxed out and uh, got me thinking about it. So I looked it up and I should have did this a while back but I just didn't think of it. And one uh, report said I believe it was five to ten years is the life expectancy. I think it can be down to as low as three years. And it depended on if you're maxing, you know, cooking, uh, just how, how long you use it, basically. High temperatures, low temperatures, and this and that. It's a 240 volt element rated at 2,350 watts. So that works out to be 9.79 amps. I didn't write that down, but. So when I ran it at 120 volts, this is how I started out the project. I was running it at 850 watts. Well, when you're running at 120 volts, the max it should be is 510, or actually a little bit more than that. I just happen to have these solar panels that worked out almost perfectly. But that's still maxed out. So it's been running for seven and a half months on this maxed out 510 watts, 120 volts. It ran for one month at a 32% higher than the than I should have ran it at when you do Ohm's Law. So I drew up the Ohm's Law insignia here, little diagram. And I wanted to go through a chronology of what's gone on so far. So, I guess I need to get this on a tripod. To start with, I ran the 240 volt element on the first test. Hopefully you guys can see this at 150 watt, 850 watts and 120 volts. And after doing the math, that ended up being 32% too high, too much power. 850 watts at 120 volts, 850 watts divided by 120 volts. equals 4.8 amps, 4.8 amps times 120 volts equals 576 watts maximum and I was running it at 850 watts. I'll be testing at 510 watts, 240 volts. So that's only 21% of full capacity and another point is solar panels don't put out what they say so it's probably more like 450 watts and that's only at the peak of the sunlight of daylight so my analysis is we're already almost at nine months I was maxed out I was over maxed for one month so I was actually straining it and I'm still straining it at almost full capacity at 88%. I looked up the, the lifespan, and the average lifespan of one of these elements is five years, three to seven years, so just five approximately. I'm hoping we'll get five years. Um, just from this analysis, I could possibly get four years because I'm four, five times less than the uh, what I've been running it at. I've been running it at 88%. I'm going to run it at 21%. So it's like four four times. Anyways, it sounds good. It sounds good on paper, doesn't it? <laughs> it does to me. 40.5 degrees outside. A little cool in here.
Got the front door open. Okay, the nine month update. Ninth month update. November 2nd. So I got a battery in this new little meter. I'll compare, I'm going to compare the two different meters and two different sensors. This one's made by Klein. Beautiful little guy. Doesn't quite go to the as high a temperature, but it's fine for what I've been reading here. Still warm. That's a good clue. That's a good sign. All right, now. Okay, so I'll put it on number one. So this has got four settings. Let's see if it's registering now. I got that plugged. Yep. 15.1 Celsius, dropping 14.87. That's the outside ambient temperature this thing is picking up right now. We stick it in the middle of the sand. Two, three, go. Eighty-seven. 90 21 still climbing 143 still climbing it's kind of slow now though all right this is shit. this is probably going to be the last update on this i thought last month was going to be the last one I still haven't gotten my electrical gloves. There's always something on the list. So this is the tenth month. This it should wear gloves. Warm. So it's 36 degrees. It's probably about 40 degrees now. 113 here. 136 here. And seven. Okay, let's put it right where this one is so that way we can see if these are. Okay, I think I'm hitting the coil there. <laughs> yeah, there it goes now. Look at there. Because there there is power going to it. Maybe not a lot, but. Yeah, this has a decimal on it also. So it has an extra little bit of accuracy. 147.1. This one don't have the point, but that's okay. I mean, who cares? This is at 150 now. I'll let this one get to 150. Just for fun. I guess it really don't matter. We're already at 150. But we want to see 150 on the new one. <laughs> you see, I've got the Klein sensor plugged in here. And it's hitting, I think it's hitting the coil. <laughs> Whoops, I shouldn't have moved it. It was doing fine. Oh well. We're at 151 now. Let's see what happens there. Yeah, it dropped. So it's just in a certain spot. It's hitting that coil, I'm sure. Let me see what happens over here. It's climbing pretty fast. Well, I kept moving that one around, so it's never going to catch up now. We're at 152. Close enough for me.